Welcome to the Waldock Way. This video is going to be a look inside the Do Not Open This Math Book Addition and Subtraction by Danica McKellar. Now, I'm actually going to be flipping through our library one because it's the one I originally found and it is library binding, so it's hardback and lays a little bit flatter for the video. However, I immediately ordered this book the minute I flipped through it. And when you order it on Amazon, it says it's paperback. However, it is the really thick flex binding. If you've ever um, had like one of the Usborne encyclopedias, it's even thicker than that. So do not be deterred by paperback because it is extremely sturdy. So the reason that I ordered this immediately is because my daughter loves Life of Fred. And so she's very interested in literature and story-based math and that is kind of what this was so the whole um basis to this is that she is trying to help adults help their, their children and meeting in the middle with the new math that's being taught so what it is when you open the book is you have the introduction what's with the new math anyway which is a note to parents and then chapter one, you have stinky toes and hopping frogs, which is making 10 different ways. And then there's all these different kind of exercises. Chapter two is how to destroy a turkey sandwich, which is fact families. Chapter three is yummy muffins and buns, which is place value. Chapter four is buns, not butts, which is the hundreds place and three digit numbers. Chapter five is strike a pose, which is adding and subtracting with models. Chapter six is filling tens and silly grins, which is moving numbers with your mind. Chapter seven is imaginary friends, which is tricks that make addition easier. Chapter eight is stretch kitty stretch, which is using expanded form for addition and subtraction. Chapter nine is freeway driving and piggyback rides, which is addition with regrouping, also known as carrying. And then chapter 10 is a big box of googly eyes, which is subtraction with ungrouping, also known as borrowing. So like I said, the first thing is a note to parents, which is an explanation of the new math. And then the whole book is set up like this. So each chapter introduces with a funny little comic and then a visual aid of what the topic is going to be. So making 10 with fingers. And then you have kind of an exercise. So you would do this together, all the different ways to make 10. And then a game time, which this would be almost like a your turn to play if you're familiar with Life of Fred or kind of the, I guess, comprehension questions at the end of a chapter so it's kind of giving you some examples to see if you can figure the problem out. And then basically it gives you a whole nother example of a way to make 10. So now instead of fingers, we're using a stairs example. And then again, after you've read that, you have the game time, which is kind of your questions that go along with it. This time we're going to talk about making 10 with a number line and hopping frogs. And then you have your game time, which is your let's play. This one is two pages. Now we're going to talk about tadpoles, frogs, and 10 frames. We're still talking about making 10. We're just showing all the different examples in game time. Now we're going to talk about upside down alien heads, hungry guys, and number bonds. And they talk about a little poem. And then that is the end. It gives you um, get 10 pencils or pens while reading the rhyme on page 27 and move the same number of pencils or pens between your two hands matching the combinations. So that's kind of like your final thing. Then you go into chapter two. Every chapter follows the same kind of guideline. So you're going to have fact families. They're going to talk about fact families with one model with some game time at the end. And then you're going to have a different model and explanation with game time using an addition chart. So it shows many different um, shortcuts for you to cut out. It shows many different ways to get there and then um, gives you a game time. So a way to basically put your knowledge into action. 
I love how they are using the buns like you're going to cook for place value. It's something different but more relatable because what kid can't relate to food. I like that it is story based but also gives visual aids as well. So if you have um, a kid who's auditory or kinesthetic or visual, it's kind of giving you a little bit of everything in this book. Like I said, I immediately ordered it because I thought it was so wonderful. I'm going to get back here to place value so you can see some of it. And now we're talking about magically moving. Basically, if you had like 9 plus 5, and that makes it 10 plus 4 to kind of make it easier on yourself. Again, there's another shortcut for looking for doubles. And then getting into bigger numbers. So stretching it out, expanded versus standard form. It is just tons of information though. It is about 150 pages. And then in the back you have the answer key. So you have the answers for all of the game times in case you're not sure. And then an index if you need to reference something later. So if you have a child who likes story-based math or somebody who needs more visual aids or maybe even just another approach to math, I highly suggest this. Um, it, is, it was probably one of my favorite math finds, and I can't wait to start this with my child.